Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and my oh my little by little some leaked information about Blackout Battle Royale is starting to surface. We do have a few more weeks left until the Blackout Beta is playable and like I said now is the time when leaks regarding the mode is going to start to surface. So if you are one of those guys who you know don't like to be spoiled then maybe click off this video. Um, but yeah I am kind of neutral when it comes to leaks like I do want to be surprised for sure and uh, everything like that but then at the same time leaks do get me very very hyped for a game but regardless I still am very much excited for blackout and I think the mode has a lot of potential but I will talk more about that later on in the video but uh, for right now guys the leaks over on Twitter X slime tiger posted some string of codes that are actually from the black ops 4 beta like this is actually from the files of the game and lime tiger is a trusted source he has leaked a ton of stuff in the past before last year during IW he posted a lot of information and uh, I have given him credit in my videos before but in the string of codes he posted on Twitter it says that the player count for blackout will be 100 players which I do absolutely hope is true now one thing you do have to keep in mind though is this string of code could be false there still is always that slight possibility but honestly black ops 4 it's pretty much done at this point like August is almost over and then that leaves one more month basically until the game finally does come out so everything is pretty much done besides a few changes here and there but nothing major is going to happen so that's kind of why I believe that this string of code will be the final player count for blackout now what I find to be pretty interesting in the string of codes here in the image it does kind of seem like they're updates that were made periodically in the early developmental stages of bl 4 and also updates that are set to go live later on in the year if you guys want to go check out the tweet i'll have it down below for you guys but i'm not sure if it's going to be up by the time you watch this video because it might get taken down um but if so i do have some backup plans for that so tell me down below if it does get taken down there are a lot of other things here in this string of code such as how players are gonna are gonna launch basically when the game starts they are gonna be dropping down via a parachute kind of like fortnite and uh and PUBG a little bit so uh, i guess black ops 4 blackout it's gonna follow the same little pattern there which i do honestly prefer i think it adds a lot more tactical play for um battle royale instead of just i guess selecting where you want to go on on a map or something like that or shooting down a tube kind of like the battle royale version of, of call of duty for the chinese version so yeah i do like the parachute a lot more now there is one more thing i'd like to mention and that's there are some more maps in this text code but i don't know if they are going to be playable maps when the game does come out um because they might be turned into dlc maps we did see this happen last year with world war ii where there were other maps in the game files but then they were released as dlc again the same thing could happen with bo4 but i'm still not entirely sure we shall see what happens guys honestly though black ops 4 is looking to be pretty dang solid this year specifically blackout seems to be blowing away my expectations i think blackout can compete with other battle royale games like PUBG and even fortnite but if they really want to overtake the battle royale industry blackout has got to be free for everyone there's no other way around this blackout has got to be free just so that way it's way more accessible to players from all over the gaming scene and it could also build a fan base for call of duty because players may you know want more of what black ops 4 has to offer if blackout is uh, you know amazing i think that would be very very awesome also if treyarch were to make the blackout beta open for everyone until the final release of the game and then just continue on updating and updating that way they could get more feedback with like a month worth of play testing and data available just right there that would be a very good decision and then make blackout free for everyone and you know just sell skins and whatnot on the marketplace like after collecting all that data and feedback you can mold and shape blackout into this amazing battle royale mode and then players you know can continue to buy dlc items off the store because they're going to be saving 60 dollars because they're not actually buying the game but then later on down the line maybe if they want to play what play the rest of bo4 and see what that has to offer then they can buy the game for the multiplayer and zombies that right there would 
pretty much be able to compete with Fortnite in my honest opinion. That's how Blackout can compete with Fortnite. But I'm not sure if Treyarch is going to follow down that line. But just imagine how crazy the Call of Duty community would go if, you know, Blackout, if Treyarch just announced Blackout is free for everyone, that would be such a smart, smart decision. Um, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to seeing what Blackout has to offer. So tell me down below in the comments if you guys think this is a great idea. And also about the 100 player count leak and then, of course, the parachuting down on the map. Tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. And thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you guys. I really do appreciate your support over Black Ops 4. I promise I'm going to continue on uploading uh, the best Call of Duty content that I can for Black Ops 4. I'm going to make this the best year I can on YouTube, guys. I promise. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I love you all again. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.